Whoa, look at this. This is different. Filming myself. But we have a new vlog. But this vlog is gonna be based about what I'm doing, where I'm going, could be traveling to a random place. This first episode is gonna be um, my quick trip to Canton, Ohio. We drove seven and a half hours there, showered in a hotel, went straight to the show, shot the show for like six hours, got right in the car and then drove home. Have you ever been to Ohio? because it's different. But yeah, it could be with someone's favorite artist, could be shooting a cool show. And if you like it, awesome. If you don't, fast forward, it's fine too. And um, yeah, we're gonna bring it to Twitch. It's just a new, a new start. Something I could do by myself so I don't have to keep bothering everyone from Eric's vlog to let's go do this, let's go do that. We're all busy, we're all doing stuff. So I might as well try to figure this out myself, like talking to this camera really awkwardly and weird. Yeah, this um, channel sponsored by nobody, maybe Elfster Media, but I guess I would have to sponsor myself. Shirt's kind of tight on me, shrunk in the wash. Or I'm just getting chunky. Sheesh. And this, I'm trying to show you the SD card that I have. Oh, wait, almost. Oh, oh, more, try. Nope, eh, almost. Wait, one more time. Okay, mm, there we go. the room now and relax for a little bit. Oh, okay, call me throughout the day. I love you, baby. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <sighs> I used to not like pulp. Now it doesn't bother me. I don't like me. pulp. Really? Oh, you don't like little things swimming in your mouth? Nope, definitely not at all. <laughs> and do you? Eh, give or take. Uh, well, maybe you'd do good in prison. So what time you Mishi? I know we're safe. Say hi. Hi. I don't know if I should speak to a camera or not. I have never spoke into one. <laughs> I am here in Canton, Ohio. This is me. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? We finally got here to Canton, Ohio. Seven and a half hour drive. You're truly DJ Scribble. But first, let me show you who DJ Scribble is. My son, little Frankie, on the road with me for the first time, so I'm really gonna enjoy this. Big Eric on the camera. Steve, the master road manager, is taking care of business right now. We just got to the Double Tree Hotel, downtown Canton, Ohio. We about to get ready for the tacos and tequilas. Fetta. We about to get ready for the taco and tequila festival at the Hall of Fame Stadium. It's going down. It's me. It's Two Chains. It's Rick Ross. It's the Yin Yang Twins. It's T.I. and of course Chicago's own Twister. It's going to be off the hook. First day of fall. Tacos and tequila. Better be going. What's the best show you've ever done? Times Square, MTV, 99 to 2000 was the most, the, the most hype, you know what I mean? It was a million people in the middle of Times Square and then, you know, me and Slinky doing that routine right before midnight. Oh, that's 
that's when you had to do it live, right? Yep. And, and Dave Sharolnik's like, can we see what you're gonna do? And I'm like, nope. That was a six minute? Yeah, I said, can we see, he goes, can we yeah. see what you're gonna do? I said, nope. <laughs> goes, Nobody's seen that before. We, we would we ran through certain things for the timing. And they wanted you to do it beforehand to see what you're gonna do. And I said, nope. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you mean to tell me you want me on the biggest fucking New Year's Eve of all time <laughs> to just say okay? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> were you nervous? Yeah. Can you give us the story when you were landing in Japan, Japan during an earthquake? Um. I didn't even know that story. Oh my God, so I was going into Formula One in Singapore, and it's right with that earthquake in Japan, when it's fucking Delta 747, and the captain came on the, you know, the captain comes on the speed, the last week, he's like, okay, well, you know, Tokyo just had an earthquake, but we're still gonna go in, and it seems to be subsided and over, and we're gonna land. So everybody's like, okay. So he goes and he goes to touch down, and as soon as it touched down, the whole plane starts doing this because the earthquake hit again at the same time, and the whole plane starts shaking. He gunned it. You would have thought we were in the fucking space shuttle. The fucking plane goes straight up in the air like this. The overheads opened up. Everything fucking falls out. Everybody's fucking screaming. It was fucking the sickest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Speaking of planes, that video of. Uh, that interview you did that's on YouTube of the scammer with the jets. Oh, when I stole the private jet? We literally took, a, well, I, I didn't. He literally took this freaking plane and we flew and we hijacked the freaking private jet, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Yeah, we hijacked the fucking private jet in Orlando. So, did I ever tell you that story? No. It's on so YouTube. This, so this kid, Julian, he used to come and see me all the time, always balling. He, said, he told me he was fucking Frank Sinatra's great grandson. He'd always come in flossing, rolling, tour buses, all this crazy stuff. Come to find out, he was a little scared. He, he took my cousin down for 120,000 on his black car. Sure enough, I get a phone call. I'm like, yo, we're having a great time. I'm doing this. And like, he's like, yeah, he, he linked his card to mine. He's like, yeah, why don't you just come with me on my mother's plane? Um, we're going to take the plane to Vegas. Just don't, you know, cancel your flight. I'll take you on my plane. So I'm like, bet, I'll, I'll go private instead of going to the airport, no doubt. He's got fucking security around him, the whole nine yards. We, we go to the signature terminal in Orlando. Now we're sitting there, sitting there, and he, there's a, the, the, the pilot called, the plane was broken, then this and that, they're trying to get the plane. Now it's three o'clock in the morning. I'm getting fucking nervous out of my mind. I'm like, I just fucked myself. I'm gonna miss my fucking, and this was like the first day I was doing the pool. And, um, Phone rings and the lady from the executive, she's like, who's Julian? And he grabs the phone and then he heads up, he hangs up, he says, oh, there's something wrong with the plane. The pilot's late, blah, 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 blah. He turns around and starts flipping. 15 minutes later, there's a fucking G4 sitting on the tarmac in 15 minutes. Mind you, he literally, with no signing, no paperwork, no nothing, got this plane. We got to, he, he stole the jet. I had no idea. <laughs> he literally stole Conda fucking's jet company out of the jet, and we flew to Vegas. A cart. The cart? There you go. That's fucking right work. What do you need a cart for? What do you need? My back hurts. I'm getting old, bro. How you unlock this thing? Oh my god. This is, you know, when you I made know. it to father life that you have a, a bike rack. One, two. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Yo, take this.
This vlog is going to be based on bad. Okay, it's hot in here. Sweating. Good. Um, let's ask the people what I should talk about. Oh, hey, people, what should I talk about? This is so weird, and I'm sweating, and I don't like this, but I don't know what to do. They like that. Luna, come here. Meow. 